Oh, Dad. Oh, Pete, nothing like a nice glass of beer. Nothing like a nice glass of beer, Pete. I had a terrible time last night, you know. What, the usual trouble? Usual trouble. I got home feeling a bit tired, you know. Oh, yeah. I got into bed, thought I'd get an early night, uh, and I was, you know, just about to drop off. You ought to get that bed seen to, it sounds dangerous. I was about to enter the realms of slumber, uh, when suddenly my peace was shattered by an insistent, bring, 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 bring. What's that? How's my peace being shattered by the telephone going, bring, bring. Oh, so I picked up the receiver and said, hello. Best thing to do in the circumstances. I oh, thought oh, so. Yeah. I said, hello. And the operator said, uh, I'm the operator, you see. Hi. Would I accept a long distance call, reverse charge from St. Tropez? I said, I don't even know the fella. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't go on paying for calls from impoverished saints. Can exactly, you, but it turned out that what he meant was St. Tropez, the Riviera haunt of rich and famous. Oh, yes, where the busty beauties sun themselves <laughs> on the golden beaches. International playground, yeah. yes, yes. And there was a Miss uh, Bridget Bardo on the line, you oh, see. Not again. Yeah, Bridget, Bridget was on the line again. Yeah. And you know her, don't you? Roger Vadim's former protégé. Yeah. The Gallic symbol. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the well-known Gallic symbol, you see. After he talked to me, so I said, all right, put her on well, if you must. You know, the voice come on the phone wailing, saying, oh, Marcherie, oh, Marcherie. Oh, Marcherie, he lives in Saudi Arabia, doesn't he? No, I'm not talking about the dusky charmer of funny girl fame and fortune, so much as French for Oh, my darling. Oh, oh Marcherie. Oh, Marcherie. Anyway, Bridget was coming out with her usual continental rubbish, you know. Would I catch a night flight to Cannes? She'd meet me at the airport in the Rolls Royce. We'd go back to the yacht and dance and drink and make love and everything like that. The usual empty, boring show business clap trap. Usual rampant frog pattern. Exactly. I said, look, Bridget, we've had our laughs. We've had our fun. Uh, we've had our kicks. Uh, we've had our thrills. Yeah. We've quaffed deep of the cup of love. Right. But now it's over. Uh, Safe for me. But she wouldn't take that for an answer. She went mad, wailing and moaning on oh. the phone, beating her breasts against the receiver oh. I drank. <laughs> Bang the phone down. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's odd you to say that because I had much the same trouble last night. Really? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I had a hard day watering the cucumbers. Takes it out of you, doesn't it? Takes it out of you, and I was feeling a bit tuckered out, you know, a bit on the tired side. So I thought, get an early night. You deserve an early night, Dad. And I uh, thought I'd make myself a cup of cocoa, go to bed and pour over the harmless universal encyclopedia. You pour your cocoa over the encyclopedia, <laughs> do you? No, night. no, I'm using pour in the sense of uh, inwardly digest. Read. Oh, I see, read, read, I'll read, 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 yes. Right, right. Anyway, I made me a cup of cocoa, nice and hot and sweet and strong. And I was starting up the stairs, and uh, just about the third rung, I smelled this heady, sophisticated perfume, you know. Oh, I thought, yeah. Funny. <laughs> Heady, sophisticated perfume. perfume. On the third rung. On run. the third rung. Yeah. You know, funny. I thought, odd. well, Mrs. Woolley was in last Thursday for a cup of sugar, but it couldn't be hanging over from then, could it? It wouldn't linger on. No, no it wouldn't. Anyway, I cast it out of my mind, went upstairs to bed, got into bed, and uh, I was sitting down last night, and I heard a tinkle from the bathroom. I thought, oh, I've left the taps running. So I trot along to the bathroom. Oh, blimey, this perfume's getting stronger and stronger. And stronger. Terrible whiff. And I burst open the bathroom door, and there she was. Esther Williams and five aqua lovelies frolicking about in my suds. <laughs> Esther, add it again. Add it, it, add it again. Of course, once she clapped eyes on me, she made a pathetic attempt to impress me by doing backflips off the shower attachment. <laughs> Sad, really, isn't Sad, it? Sad, pathetic, pathetic. I said, Esther. It's the baby doll, act for love. I said, we've had our thrills. We've had our kicks. So we're, that's the same as what I said, did you know? We've quaffed it with a cup of love. Yeah. But, I said, as the tide runneth out, so does love. And I wish a hell you'd lot get out too. <laughs> you I, used a watery metaphor for her, did you? Well, Esther's been in the water all her life, and I knew it'd get through to her, you yeah. know. Of course, she went berserk. Of course she did. She, she started gnashing her legs together and, and <laughs> wailing. She tore her rubber bathing cap to shreds. 
Of course, I threw them out and they're dripping all over the place. Ruined the wallpaper. You threw them out? Yeah. That's the only thing you can do, you see, Well, of course, you have to be cruel to be kind, Pete. That's the point. Huh? You have to be very cruel to be very kind as well. Yeah. What are you doing this evening? Well, I thought I'd go out the pictures, you know, take them in the movie. That's a good idea. There's a Myrna Loy revival on the <laughs> I always enjoy 